Big day today. Just got notified that the delivery is taking place. So I'm just gonna head over to the shop so we can test fit the wheels onto the Eldorado. I can't wait to see how they're gonna look on there. It's gonna be a much, much wider set. Not crazy big, uh, but I think it's gonna look tasteful on there. So I hope you guys like how it turns out and I'm hoping that fitment's gonna be exactly like I'm hoping, but uh, only one way to find out. So let's get on the road. Should be some of the last footage with the stock wheels on there. It's gonna look way better once I get the new ones on there. Listen to these burbles when I let off here. Delivery. I'll have to start unwrapping this, look for damage, make sure they're all good. that I have on there for the first fitment went more conservative with the tire width I know I could probably fit a little bit more width on here but for now we're gonna try the 245 45s and see how the fitment is and then in the future if I'm able to accommodate more tread underneath the fenders then I can always upsize at that point but I got it in the silver finish I think that's gonna fit the car really well I think uh, if you went with black or different tones, probably wouldn't have matched the Cadillac as well, but I think these are gonna look awesome. So first wheel down, doesn't look like any damage on there, so I'll have to go ahead and open up the others and see if there's anything bad in there. But hopefully, everything's good and the fitment should be perfect, but only one way to find out. right here ready to go on so we'll see how it looks after these I think it's gonna look a lot better hopefully they fit properly
I just got the first one on. It's not torqued down yet, but just kind of looking at the fitment here. I think it's gonna be perfect once we lower it down. My hope was, so that is the round, rounded part of the tire right here. I'm hoping it's just barely gonna clear right on the inner part of the white there. And if we compare on this side, like that, to the stock one on this side, you can see it sticks out just a little bit further at the tire there, but not bad. I think it's gonna come out perfect. Here's the rear with the stock still on it. There's the new one. I'll go ahead and get the other two on, lower it down, and we'll see how it looks. So I went with the Nitto NT Triple Five G2s, 245, 45, ZR18. Let's get to try these out. Two of them torqued down, got the center caps on. I think that looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and torque the other two down and then we'll get to pull it out and see how it looks. All right, so they're all on now. Just rolled it back and forth to get it all to settle. So this is how the fitment's gonna be. That's exactly what I was looking for because the lip on this car, it makes it a little bit of a challenge to go aggressive because yes, you could roll this, but if you want a square setup, you have to be able to clear on the front. And so the rear is just gonna be tucked a little bit to where I could still lower the car if I wanted. And I think I'll be able to clear this right here. And if you look at the front right here, should be able to come up, kind of tuck just on the inside of that lip right there. So no fender rolling or anything would have to be done. I don't think if I wanna lower this, but I think it looks great on there.
just got done taking it for a test drive. It feels way better, so much more responsive. Um, it doesn't feel sketchy in the turns anymore. Before it just felt like so floaty in the wheel and there was like vibration if you turned at any sort of speed. Um, it seems so much more responsive. Uh, connection to the road's way better, but I wouldn't call it bumpy. You just kind of, you feel the road and stuff a little bit better, but it's not like super jarring or bumpy or anything like that. So I'm super happy with how it feels and I think it makes the car drive so much better, especially in turns. Just got back with the car. I had to experiment driving it in the rain. I was not expecting that, but it was a pretty much a downpour on the way home. So I got to test out the wet traction. Seemed pretty good. Obviously a little bit of hydroplaning if you hit the right pocket of water, you know, but it wasn't bad at all. Um, considering, you know, performance summer tires and uh, going wider than stock, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it handles very, very well, especially in the dry, obviously, but I'll show you how it turned out. <laughs> So again, these are 18 by nine and a half with a 35 offset, positive 35. And I think the fitment is perfect. Um, you basically get to the point where even if I were to lower the car, the tire should be able to clear right here. Now I know you can get into, you know, fender rolling and all that sort of stuff. But the issue is this body has the wide flare on it. And so it's like, even if I rolled it, you still can't come up that far, you know, that much further than that. Um, so my goal with the offset was to try to make it so I could clear here without rolling just because with a front wheel drive car, I wanted to come up with a square setup, not staggered. And so in the front, I can't really go any wider than that because even if I rolled it, I would still be getting into the fender liner and stuff here. And yeah, you could get into trimming and stuff like that, but I'd rather just keep that OEM if I can. So I think the way that it turned out should be absolutely perfect. And I think it just looks so much better. Now, I think the wheels look great as it is now, but especially in the future, if I get into putting some sort of a wrap on the car, I think that's really gonna make those wheels pop.